What's going on guys? Welcome back. Part 2. Uh, this will be the reassembly of the Glock 43X. Uh, we'll start with the uh, slide first. So we'll go ahead and gather all our slide parts. Put everything else to the side. Grab our punch, whatever you need. We'll grab the uh, striker assembly. We'll push it through like this. And then we'll grab our spring. You want the, the striker piece to get caught on the black piece when you push it through. And then when you put the spring on, you want to try to hold it in place. This can be very tedious because when you push this down and you start trying to put these black pieces on, the black caps or retainer caps, um, they're very easy to sling off. So me personally, I like to set them down. I think the slide works great. Um, you can use the top part, but it's kind of slippery and it'll kind of scuff it up. So I prefer to use um, just somewhere along the edge, wherever you think is best. For me, I'm going to go right here on the front. And I'll set the striker assembly on the edge of it. You can use the edge of your table or a bench block, whatever you got. For me, this is what I like to use. And I'll just grab my caps like this with the T-shape on top. And I'll just slide them in. I'll do one piece at a time if I can. Always holding the top of it because it will sling up on you. grab the next piece put it on slowly let it up and you should be good to go next we'll grab the plunger you got a big end and a small end the spring goes on the small side you should hear a little pop should click on the place grab the plunger cap you'll just slide it in the spring and it too should pop me personally I like to grab the spring right here and push down on the cap until it clicks into place if you don't hear a click just look and make sure it's flush with the spring if it's flush with the spring it's okay all right from there we're ready to start assembling we'll go ahead and grab our plunger put our spring back in it it too should have a little click um, if it don't click pushing it straight in, try pushing it and giving it a little turn. You should be able to turn it upside down and it shouldn't fall out. If you turn it upside down, it falls out. Keep trying to put it in there. If you can't, it's okay. Just, just put it back together however you can whenever you go to put it in there. Um, the spring should hold though. Now for me, I like to take my slide, turn it over on this side. You got a flat side. And a kind of curved side flat curved and if you look on the slide you should be able to kind of tell which sides which if not the flat sides on the outside of the slide and the curved slide is on the inside so we'll put the plunger in there or the safety plunger and you can take a, a punch or a, a screwdriver and you'll grab your uh, extractor it's got the little hook on this side and the ball on this side. The ball goes towards the back of the slide. The claw goes towards the front. And I'll just take my screwdriver and I'll push it in until you see the opening. If it shoots out on you, that's okay. Just put it back in there. And if you want, you can actually set your uh, extractor in there and then just push it in and, and push down on your extractor and let it go and it should come in there or it should fall into place. Um, so you should kind of be able to roll it over and it should stay in there. If you start picking on it, it'll obviously come out because it's not got no, the plunger's not in there yet. But it should kind of hold it, it should hold itself in there just by, with the gravity, shouldn't fall out. Next we'll grab our striker. We'll slide it into place. We'll grab our plunger. We'll slide it into place. And you can see the plunger holds that in place. You'll grab your back cap, back plate, metal up, plastic down. 
and whenever you get to this piece if you can push it down with your finger that's that's good go ahead and do that um, I always use a punch I use the big side I usually just pick a corner I usually do top left and I'll just push it down as I push in on the back plate until it covers it keeps it from coming up and then I'll turn the punch over push down on the plunger and do the same thing push it up until it covers the plunger making sure it covers the plunger before I pull up because it'll the plunger will take off and once it's over the plunger just finish pushing and it'll pop in place then you grab your barrel you slide it in grab your recoil spring you slide it in and that's it for the slide complete next we'll go on to the uh, lower receiver I'll go ahead and start with the takedown. I usually like to go in the order that I, that I took them out. So I'll start with the takedown, takedown lever and spring. So I grab the spring, it don't matter which way you put it in there, up or down, it's, both, it's just the same. It goes right in that little slot. Then you grab your takedown lever, you got a smooth side and a not smooth side, you got a little lever there. Or you can do it by the the side with the with the numbers on it. The numbers go inward. Smooth side goes outward. And I like to again push it in the exact same way I pushed it out. And so I'll start by uh, just setting it in there for now. And then I'll grab a small plunger. You can either grab a small plunger or you can do it with the pick. You can come back in with the pick and, and pull it down and push down and then slide the takedown lever over. You want to go ahead and get your, your takedown lever in there before you start pushing because if you push it down and then you're trying to grab your takedown lever, you can, you're can you likely going to mess it up or lose your grip and pop it off. i put the takedown lever in there. Got the spring in there. I'll take my punch. And I'll stick it in as far as I can and just try to get it on both sides of the, the spring. And you can see I just stick my punch in there, push it down, and then push this in. It'll probably take you a couple tries. It's no big deal. It's just a tedious process. Um, and once you get it in there, just kind of give it a fl few flicks. Make sure it's going up and down right, not getting caught then that's that's good to go and so next we'll do the uh, mag release I'll grab my pin grab it with the pliers like I had it and then I'll just set it down in there um, typically I use my hands first I guess and I'll set it in its spot and then I'll take my pliers or my punch and I'll just give it a little push down once it goes in, I'll just give it a little tap, not too hard, not trying to bend it or anything, just to make sure it's in there. Grab your mag catch, or your mag release, sorry. And again, we'll grab the, the pick. And like I showed you on the first video, you want to lift this up and push this through. Um, this can take a little bit of practice to get used to holding it like this and doing this. But you should be able to control it with your thumb. Pushing in and up and down. But what you want to do is you want to line it up as close as you can. You want to come in. Grab the little uh, pin. Push it up. Once it gets over the mag catch, you want to push the mag catch in. If it don't work, it's okay. Just pull it back out. Lift it up. And it'll probably snap on you a couple times until you get it. And then once you get it, just push it in. Take your punch in. Push it over to the left like you're trying to take it out earlier. And it'll pop in that little slot. And then that works. I like to go ahead and take my mag. Empty mag. Slide it in. Make sure it's working. Alright. And that's good on that one. And then I'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and do the uh, trigger spring. 
our trigger spring kit. Grab the little black piece, put the spring on it. Don't matter how it goes on, either way, they're both the same. And whenever you uh, push this in, you can see how one side is sloped and one side is flat. The sloped side should have the hook. The hook should be on the side that slopes down. So again, I'll show you again. See how it's sloped. It's flat on one side and kind of sloped on the other. So what I do is I just push this on here, line it up, push it down, and turn it towards the side it needs to go. So I'll do that one more time. I grab it, kind of pinch it like this, and I put the slope side facing away from me this works best for me it just depends on if you're right-handed left-handed whatever you set it on top push it down and twist it towards the slope side so set it down and then twist it around towards the slope side and it'll lock in place then from there you want to grab your trigger housing and this is the part that I was talking about it can be it can be kind of tedious so like we did when we took it out we popped it up push it into the top one and it came out well, this one we're going to do the opposite. You put it in the top one, push it down to the bottom one to lock it in. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and line it up right there. Grab my flat, oh, grab my flat head, and I'll try to keep my thumb close by on the top here spring because it wants to kind of bend on you. And I'll keep my thumb here, line it up. It's kind of tedious to grab it it's you know you'll just have to mess with it a little bit to figure out what works best for you but I'll just push it through and once it comes through I just kind of pull it down it can be hard to do it holding it up so I like to set mine on the ground and I'll hold it flat push it in and use my thumb to pull it down I don't know if you've seen that but you push it in and when it pops out just use your thumb to pull it down so I kind of take one finger two fingers push down grab this push it in pull down with my thumb push in pull down with your thumb once you get that in there you're good to go we'll grab our connector and it goes in just like this should come over the spring here in the little slot. Push that in. Grab your extractor or your ejector. And it should point away from your connector. And push it in. And obviously this piece should be on top, flush with the, the housing. Sometimes I don't want to go all the way. Just make sure you give it a push until it clicks in or is flush with the housing. Then you want to grab your trigger bar. From here, you can see that little hook that we just put in there. You want to take your T, the bottom of it, push into it, turn it down, and twist it in. So it'll come in, down, twist. So in, down, twist. You want to push it out the back there. So you go in line up the, the hook there you want to push it down and twist and then once you get it here you can just pop it up under the connector I'll do that one more time so you want to push it in the hook down and twist and it should hold like that if you got it in there right and you'll just take it and you'll slide it in right here right behind the, the flap make sure your triggers lined up to go in the hole and just push it down and that's that and you can go ahead and test it if you want before you put everything else in there if your trigger spring is not right you'll know right here you can push this forward and you'll hear it just hold your thumb here if it don't lock in right something's wrong if it don't pull something's wrong grab your um your slide stop, set it in place, 
If you don't for sure, just line this piece up here on the outside and the rest of it should fall into place. Just give that a push down, then you'll grab your locking block, set it in place, push down. And then that's that, you wanna grab your pins. I usually do the back one first. It tends to make things easier for me when I'm putting in my trigger pin because sometimes it does not like to go in. And again, I push it in from the left to the right. And if you can, I don't know how yours is, but sometimes mine's not lined up right. Sometimes I can pull on the trigger bar and it'll come down. But if you go to put it in and you're hammering and hammering, it goes in a little bit, but it's not going all the way. Don't try to keep wailing on it. Um, one thing I've learned is right here on the a slide stop, if you take your finger and you push it up against the locking block and push down on the slide stop, and then you can take your hammer and it should go right into place. Normally your slide stop's the part that's kind of holding up the roll pin, so you can set your finger right there on top of that and push down, and that should be able to hammer in pretty easy. And you'll feel it click into place here should hear it click and both slots should be lined up you should be able to take your punch put a little pressure on both sides if it's not moving you're good and that is how you reassemble the Glock 43X line your slide up slide it on there make sure it's cleared trigger pull Reset, pull, reset, pull, and it's good. If you guys found that helpful, if you learned anything from it, leave a like. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Um, that's all I have for the reassembly part two. Um, have a good one. Stay safe.